Did you know that your dog's unique personality, their stunning looks, and even their quirky habits are all shaped by their genetics? From the way their ears flop to how they chase their tail, it's all written in their DNA. Stick with me, because today I'm unpacking the secrets of what makes your dog truly one of a kind. We're diving into something I've always found fascinating. Dog genetics. Have you ever looked at your pup and wondered why they've got those soulful eyes or why they're so different from their litter mates? Well, I'm here to tell you. It's all in their genes. In this video, I'll take you through five big areas. Physical traits, health issues, genetic diversity, behavior, and genetic testing. By the time we're done, you'll see your dog in a whole new light and know how to care for them even better. Let's jump right in. First up, physical traits. I'm talking about all the stuff that makes your dog look the way they do. Genetics decide if they're tiny like a Chihuahua or massive like a Great Dane. There's this gene called FGF5 that I find so cool. It's the one that says whether their coat is short and sleek or long and fluffy. And coat color? That's a whole adventure. The MC1R gene can mix up black, brown, red, or even wild patterns like Merle. I've got a friend with a Dalmatian and those spots. They're from a Terp1 gene mutation. Pretty neat, right? Even their eyes, brown, blue, or two different colors, come from genes like ALX4. It's like nature's paintbrush, and knowing this helps me groom my dog just right or protect those blue eyes from the sun. Next, let's talk health issues, something I've had to think about with my own pup. Genetics can set dogs up for certain conditions. Big breeds like German Shepherds might deal with hip dysplasia where their joints don't fit quite right, while little guys like pugs can struggle to breathe because of their short noses. I read this study in the Journal of Veterinary Medicine that blew my mind. 60% of purebred dogs might carry a genetic disorder. Crazy, right? There's even a gene called MDR1 that makes some dogs super sensitive to meds. My dog's vet told me about that one. And now I'm extra careful. Knowing this stuff means I can team up with my vet to keep my dog healthy. Maybe more checkups or a special diet to dodge those risks. Okay, genetic diversity. This one's huge for me. You've probably heard how inbreeding and purebreds can cause problems. I mean, look at Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. So cute. But so many have heart issues because their gene pool's tiny. I came across Dr. Niels Pedersen's work. He's a geneticist who found that breeds like Basenjis have tons of genetic variety, while others, like Norwegian Lundehuns, barely have any. That's why some breeders are mixing in related breeds to shake things up. My mutt? He's got that hybrid vigor. Fewer health hiccups because his genes are all over the place. I love that. It's like he's built tougher. Supporting breeders who care about diversity feels like a win for all dogs. Now behavior. This is where I geek out. Genetics totally shape how our dogs act. My border collie mix. She's always hurting anything that moves. Me, the cat, you name it. That's her genes talking. There's this study from the Broad Institute that found genes tied to stuff like pointing or being bold. One gene, Robo-1, even makes some dogs extra friendly. But here's the thing. My dog's also got a shy streak, maybe from some anxiety gene. I've learned it's not set in stone, though. With training and love, I've helped her come out of her shell. So, yeah, genetics give them a push. But I get to steer the ship with how I raise them. Last but not least, genetic testing. You can swab your dog's cheek and find out their breed mix, health risks, even what they might act like. I did it with my dog and it was a revelation. She's got some poodle in her, which explains her curls. Tests like Embark can spot over 150 conditions, like this rare enzyme thing a friend's dog had. She caught it early thanks to the test. It's not a crystal ball. My vet says it's about possibilities, not guarantees. But it's helped me tweak her food and exercise. It's like having a cheat sheet to be the best dog parent I can be. Let me tell you about my friend Emily and her dog Max. It ties all this together. Max was this scruffy rescue labeled a Labrador, but I always thought he seemed off. He was small, curly-haired, and fast as lightning. Not your typical lab. So Emily got him tested. And guess what? He's part Labrador, part Poodle, and part Whippet. It clicked. His water obsession came from the lab, the curls from the Poodle, and that speed from the Whippet. Emily started doing agility with him and switched his food to match his energy. And I've never seen Max happier. It hit me then, knowing his genetics didn't just explain him, it changed how she cared for him. 
That's the power I want you to tap into. So here's what I've learned. Genetics are the blueprint for everything that makes my dog special. Her looks, her health, her wild personality. Figuring this out has let me care for her better and love her quirks even more. Whether it's spotting health risks early, appreciating her mixed up DNA, or using a test to peek into her genes, it all comes back to seeing her as one of a kind. I hope you feel that way about your dog too. They're not just pets, they're genetic masterpieces, and I'm so glad we get to share that journey with them. If you love this dive into dog genetics, hit that like button and subscribe. I've got more dog stuff coming your way. Drop a comment below about what makes your pup unique. I'd love to hear it.